Hi there, Cassie here, and today I'm going to be going over one of my favorite games, Stardew Valley. So I wanted to talk about this game because I have now experienced it on three different platforms. I've experienced it on PC, on Switch, and on mobile, and I wanted to kind of compare them and let you know which ones you should be going towards. So to start with the PC version, it always has the most up-to-date content. And a big benefit is that it can be customized. So it can be customized in one of two ways. The first way is by actually changing the game files. And the second way is by using Smappy. I personally change game files because I typically just like to change the aesthetics and I find changing the game files, while it might be slightly more risky, I find it can be more rewarding for myself. And one of the things that I always change, regardless of <laughs> what, what save file I've started, I always change my sheep into alpacas. That's just a personal preference. <laughs> if you want to do the same, I'm going to link it in the description below. As for cons, the only thing that I really see for the PC being a con is that it's not easily transported. So. When you're playing on the PC, it's a more dedicated experience. It's not something that you can multitask, you know, hang out with your family, be on the couch. You're not going to drag your entire computer out to the living room. That's just not going to happen. So that's something that I think can be a con where the other ones don't have that issue. Moving on to the Switch version. It's very similar to the PC version. Obviously it can't be customized, but it has very similar controls. The only thing that I noticed, you know, took a little bit of getting used to is using toggles rather than a mouse. It was like maybe a little bit slow for me to pick it up, but it's not that bad. You don't use that functionality that much, so it really is not a big deal. It also has the multiplayer aspect, so if you do want to play with others and you don't want to do it on your computer, the Switch does have that going for it. Last but not least, there's the mobile version. So it's easier than any other version of the game. It's done purposely to kind of entice mobile players to keep going. It has some benefits, like when you click on an area, you'll just automatically start going to that area. If you are you know, getting rid of rocks and pieces of wood, it'll just switch in between the tools. It's really good in that way. Now, not everyone will like how easy the mobile version makes things, but they do toggle some things. Like, for example, in the mines, you'll automatically be fighting things and a, you hand toggle it so you have to do it yourself. So if you do want to make the difficulty harder, they do have that option. The biggest con to the mobile version is simply that it doesn't have the multiplayer and it probably never will have the multiplayer. But the benefit of being able to carry it around and play it whenever you want, even if you don't have internet, is pretty good. If you're somebody like me, you'll end up getting the game basically on every version you can. <laughs> um, but if I if I had to choose two, I'd probably take, you know, the PC version for sure. It's the OG, and I would probably probably go with the mobile version because I use my my mobile more than I use. Well, not that I don't use my Switch. I, I, I use my Switch, but I use my Switch pretty much exclusively for Animal Crossing. So in terms of this particular game, I probably used it on mobile more than I used it on Switch. So that's just for me. But I hope this has helped you kind of get an idea of what to expect. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Toodles for now.